what's good youtube it's your boy greg go crazy go crazy yes we're back here with another video now before you do anything for your boy go on and hit that like button for your boy go on and hit that subscribe button for your boy you dig and also turn on those post notification bells for your boy so you can be notified every time i post a new video like i said man we still like here grinding all year 365 to the year over with you dig we ain't gonna never stop grinding till the day stop i mean it don't matter but as you can see by the title and the thumbnail yes i'm bringing y'all here another lit jump shot video now this is one of the jump shots now i found this jump shot base on tiktok and it said it was i ain't gonna tell y'all the base y'all see at the end of the video but as you can see i <laughs> to pull up and i end up missing my first shot with this new jump shot base now i tested that i played a few games and messed around with it and i ain't gonna lie this base is kind of fire i'm not gonna lie to you this base is kind of fire if you learn how to use it properly it's a nice base and now nah, y'all see that takeover perk now that's also part of the video too that takeover perk right there with the dude with a little hoodie mask on like the pushy mask he got on his face yeah i ain't gonna lie y'all need to try to get that takeover perk now the takeover perk is called sabotager now a lot of people don't know about this now if you play pro am and you're in a pro -Am community they know about this but if you're like an average part player you probably won't know about this but the little takeover perk on next gen with the little hoodie mask on the push icy mask on it's called sabotaging now what this takeover perk does is when you contest them or your opponent and they miss a couple of times they will end up becoming cold now this is something this is kind of like heart crusher and two in the old 2k like 2k 20 2k 21 but they took it out in next gen but it's still in the game it's just a takeover perk now but this perk really works. I didn't know about it. One of my friends put me on to it. And the only way you can get this perk is through like your daily rewards. Like you have to keep checking your quest. Like if you keep checking your quest, it'll pop up. Like luckily when I was looking for the take this takeover perk, I already had it. all I had to do was play like five Mountain Dew court games. And that's how you get the badge. Like it depends. Like sometimes the quest might be play in the Gatorade facility to get it play like five games and it, for my quest like i said it was to play five mountain dew court games just play them you don't have to win them just get your friend tell them to join the lobby play it start the 1v1 and you have to play the games and make sure the game saves because when i first did this it did not save my progress so i had to join another mountain dew court which is also hard to find because for some reason randoms love hopping on the mountain dew court and that court is so bad the frames drop is so ridiculous on that court i promise you i ain't never seen nothing like that it was like park out the dark lag and that was ridiculous and if y'all remember park out the dark y'all know that lag was terrible you couldn't even play a game in park out the dark in 2k17 man i ain't gonna lie 2k that was a nice idea with snoop dogg in the game in future and all that if you're og you remember them they was in there for the park out the dark because they was hosting it but that was a terrible and that's how that mountain dew court is like you can't play at all like the frames drop is terrible but somehow some way i struck through it i fought through it the lag and all of it and i got the takeover perk now this perk really works and i wish i would have got gameplay of them going cold but if you don't believe me get the perk try it out come back to the video let me know how it works i promise you this takeover perk works it does wonders like your opponent think he nice clamp him up like three players in a row three to four plays he's gonna go cold it's, it's gonna happen he's gonna go cold i promise you he's gonna go cold i've seen it happen before i was like bro how i was like bro how's bro already cold and then i realized it was my takeoff i was like oh yeah this thing worked <laughs> it worked like one of my friends he used in the problem like his whole team had it but they didn't even know they all had it so they whole team they was going against went cold that was the craziest thing i ever seen in my life but this takeover perk plus this jump shot is different i promise you man test this out test this dude out it is different now as you can see right now i'm cooking him 9 to 14 he flopped on me and thought it was a game but look you flopping on me buddy i don't do all that <laughs> i ain't take it too nice now you see me i was trying to cook him up right there i hit him with a little step back now you see i end up going and sliding out of bounds with that snatch back that snatch back is nice too once you learn how to use it effectively i just start using it effectively or trying to use it effectively. but you see he end up missing the shot and right now the score is 14 to 9 i'm up by five i'm trying to cook up but he's trying not to give me a three so i'm about to go to the paint and get my dunk off like that's what i don't understand about some people in this game they just be mad at you when they don't give you the three point and when you go to the rim and dunk it like what you expect me to do bro shoot a contested three 
No, I'm not gonna do that, bro. But you see, he tried to get me to jump him right there, but I didn't go for none of that. And I ended up smacking that out of you. see my takeover perk. The Pushaisi mask popped up again. You see, <laughs> I got my takeover. I ended up pulling up green. Bean, you did. He ended up giving up and stopped playing. You see, he flopped right there. I don't know what he thought this was. He shouldn't have flopped on me, though. <laughs> That's what he shouldn't have did. I don't know who he thought I was. <laughs> I don't know who he thought I was. So I ended up leaving him open and flopping back on him. Like, bro, don't try me like that. Don't ever try me like that. Don't play me like that at the end of your life. Come on now. <laughs> don't play me like that. But as you can see right now, the score is 12 to 9. So I end up letting him hit that open three. I didn't really care about that nine. You see, he's really giving me the paint, really. Now look, I end up hitting him with the stuff back going right past him and end the game. Cause you wanna know why you don't play with your fool out here. <laughs> you don't play with your fool out here. And I end up winning that game 21 to 12. Now, as you can see, I end up hitting level 22 this game right here. Now the next game play, I ain't gonna lie, I was just messing around, buddy. He was getting like some crazy stuff. I don't know what was going on with 2K. Y'all see, I had to go to the warehouse to get my open games. Because when you go on the stage, bro, they be doing too much. I tried to go on the stage, man. I was going against the post school my first game. I said, oh, no, it ain't even worth all that. <laughs> it is not worth playing against the post school on the 1v1 court on the stage. If I got to play that, bro, for a 1v1 video, I'll just go to the warehouse. Forget it. And that's where they match me up again. So it is what it is. So I ain't even about to, you know, do all that. But as you can see, he ended up getting the ball first. He got his backpack on. So he is new to next gen. That's how you can tell. Because don't nobody wear no backpack no more, bro. I haven't seen really nobody with the backpack in NBA 2K. Now you see he ended up snatching back green beanie. I don't know how he broke me. But that is beyond me. You did. That's beyond me. Now you see I end up trying to cook him back. Trying to get open three. Trying to see what I can get off. Now I could have shot that right there. But I said, oh no, excuse me. Hold on, hit him with one more time. Ooh, going right back to the left. Hey! Yes, sir. Now the score is three to two. That Damian Lillard package is crazy. I promise you it's crazy, bro. It is a crazy sig. That thing do magic. I don't know what happened with that sig package, but it does magic. Now I wish I could I wish you could switch up some of the moves just a little bit because some of these jumbo packages I don't like but you see I end up pulling away and I end up missing but yeah if I could switch up like some of my dribble packages just, just a little bit just like tweak them just a little bit I wish I could customize it like if you could customize your dribble package like you can do that for the dunks that'll be oh my goodness <laughs> boy that should think about that but yeah they should think about that now you see I end up pulling up green bean but back to what I was saying, if you could customize your dribble packages like you can customize your dunk packages, like in this year, that'll be amazing. That's, thing. That's a nice idea if they think about it. But everybody, because everybody would be different. You wouldn't have the same. Everybody in this game don't have the same dunk package on. But everybody would have different dribble moves if you gave them the option to change the dribble package to whatever they wanted it to be in their package. But yeah, that's just an idea that's out there. That I promise you that'll be a nice idea. But as you can see right now, I ended up shooting a stupid three-pointer and made the shot. Well, no, nah, it's his ball, so the score is 5-5 five five right now, as y'all can see. But he ends up trying to cook me. I'm not going for none of that. You see, I got my defense. He ends up pulling up, and he ends up fading, and he misses with the middle one, which he should because he timed it bad. Now, another thing I don't know about 2K is why do they let some people hit earlys and all that? Like, it be crazy sometimes what happens in this game. And then when people call the game bad, like it's, it's a reason why people call the game bad because it's just some stuff that just shouldn't go down. I promise you. Like all that volleyball patent for steals, that just shouldn't go down. Like I don't know why it happened, but it just happens sometimes. But let's get back to the game. Like you can see right now, he's trying to cook me. That ain't really working right now. He ends up shooting another stupid fade in my face, which was probably expected. I mean, because he a low variety, I don't know what he's doing. Now you see, I'm trying to break him in. Like why is he spamming me? I'm not gonna shoot no three if you gonna keep spamming me, bro. So I just go right past him and get my dunk off. Make the score 10 to 5. And I'm up by 5 right now, as you can see. And I activate my takeoff. Now you see he hit me with the long cross. So he ends up breaking me. And he's a green in my mitt. Like that's crazy. Like he ends up greening in my face, bro. That is crazy. Don't know how that happened. You're like, I got extreme clamps takeover. But hey man, some of these takeovers they don't work sometimes. But it all it also depends on the positioning. Don't know why, but sometimes it don't work. Now you see, I could have shot that right there. I end up end up snatching back, hitting with the green in the corner, green bean. That little size up package does wonders. I'm telling you, you hit him with a bink bink, boy, it's over with. <laughs> I promise you, you hit him with that bink bop, it's over with. I'm telling you, 
Now, as you can see right now, the score is 13 to 7. Hit me with a little weak cross. So if you thought I was jumping, I said, nah. But they end up putting me right past them. Like, why do they push you right past people? They push you past people. And then the paint defense is crazy bad. I think this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous how bad the paint defense is sometimes in this game. But I'm not here to complain, you know. I'm just saying what's on my mind about this game because this is my platform and I can say what I want. Now, you see, he ended up breaking me right there with my takeover on. Like, what's going on? You, like, how that happened, bro? Be for real. Would y'all not be mad if you got broke with lock takeover on? Like, that's crazy. Like, how does that even work? You like a 73 or well, whatever his overall is. He's not that high to break me, bro. Off a, off a step back, off a little step back like that? Come on now. But as you can see right now, the score is 17 11. He tries again. He goes right past me, and I end up not falling for it because usually people jump on moves like that. But I'm smart enough, so I don't jump that time. Now, sometimes I do jump. I don't know why. But you see, he end up hitting with the same move. I end up blocking that, get that up out of here, you dig? And this is ball again. Now he has three seconds to try to force up something. And I end up trying to get the block, but my takeover don't work this time. As you guys can see, chase down, block, then kick in, nothing. But it's all right, though, because I'm going to get my bucket and do what I do regardless. Now you can see right now I hit him with a little step back. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> step back on him again. I'm playing with him, and I go right past him. Hey, with the easy dunk, the score is 19 to 13, you dig? Now all we need is a dunk. Or three to end this game mode. And you know, you don't mess around. Like you just end the game when 2K is not on your side. You just end the game. Now you see, he ended up hitting me with a little, ooh, snatchback. Or going right past me for the lay. The little filet, man, you don't lay, but it's all right, though. You dig? It's 15 to 19. I ain't got time for all that. So you see, I hit him with the little snatchback. Ooh, between the legs. Pull up green bean for the midi. Hit the backflip on your boy. You dig? And I end that game 21 to 15. Now, like I was saying, man, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you up next my badges and my takeover perk if you guys want to know. Like I said, I promise you, if you don't believe me, test out this takeover perk. It does work. But right now, I'm going to show you my animations for the dribble. Now, as you can see, I'm going to show you all the jump shot. The jump shot called soft shit, did. Now, the jump shot base is set shot six. A lot of set shots do work this year. Like, this is the one I was using for this video, and I use Rudy Gay 50 50. Now, that was a jump shot. Now, I'm gonna show y'all the takeover perk that does wonders in this game. That sabotage perk right there. You gotta play on the court to unlock it. But yeah, man, that's really it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Share the video with other people, and I'm out. Peace.